I think the exciting research findings in eosinophilic esophagi, maybe in the past couple of years, um, have been genetic studies that have come out uh, identifying gene targets that are, are increased uh, in patients that have eosinophilic esophagi, identifying genes that are activated in this disease uh, uh, may lead to a uh, better understanding of the pathogenesis and perhaps even therapy of eosinophilic esophagitis. Other uh, high impact papers or research articles that I've seen in the past few years include the, the role of dietary allergens. Um, there have been more and more studies showing how effective it is to remove dietary allergens from the diet and it's a way of treating the disorder. I think that's important because it offers a non-medication way of treating the disease. A lot of our patients don't want to take lifelong medications and using a dietary approach gives them a way to do that. And the other impact of dietary therapy is it tells us that Yes, food allergies or food is an important trigger to disease, and it helps us understand what is causing eosinophilic esophagitis.